though. I what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Anna. Hi, Marco. Hi, D. Facts. Blessings on blessings. I'm hearing the floodgate of blessings is opening up for somebody watching right now. Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Let me know which part of the world you're watching me from, okay? But listen, the title of this reading is The End of Days Are Making Your Person Reach Out and Confess Their Love. Now, I am not saying the end of days are near. Let me clarify. But this person that I have tapped into their energy, that I'm channeling in this present moment, whether this person is you or them, because sometimes it can be either, right? So as always, take the parts that resonates, leave what doesn't, go get your water, go get your tea, go get sign, honey, because we gonna be here not for a little while, because definitely at 12 a.m. at midnight, I am releasing a new single. It's called Deep Emotions. And um, this is a song that my uh, producer, Sakuraya, and I worked on last year. And if, as you guys know, Zachariah passed away around two months ago and I didn't get to release most of the music that we collaborated in and did together. So I just released it exactly how it was the last time that we were in the studio creating this song. I, you know, I, I you know what I mean? Like I didn't go to anyone else to edit it. This is just, I did it from there because his spirit was telling me like, Maji, release it, Maji, release it, Maji, release it. So what the heck, okay? Um, so I really hope that a lot of you show your love, make sure that you share, like, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. The more you guys show support, the more encouraged I would feel about unleashing my magic and shining bright like a diamond. Ashe. So the end of days are making your person want to reach out. What was I saying about that? What was I feeling? What I'm feeling is I'm going to lower this a little bit. What I was feeling is like with all this going on with this, like solar eclipses with the earthquakes right going on the destructions the hurricanes all these natural disasters basically and whatever's going on in the world it's making somebody freak out and they're like oh my god i don't know if it's true or not i don't know if this is a sign that jesus is coming i don't know what's going on but i need to reach out to my person and let them know before i pass away before whatever's going on i need to tell them that i love them okay comment below my person is coming towards me my twin flame is on its way to me if this is resonating yeah so I do have a song that I was channeling and it's how I felt this message really strong, by the way. Like, I know it's like an odd title. Even I was like, okay, spirit, I guess I'll write it this way. But it's exactly how I heard it, guys. And y'all already know I got the T. So literally how I heard it is the song called, um, let me see what I wrote here. If the world was ending, right? If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? you come over right right do you guys know that song let me see who the lyrics is by hold on okay so the song is by jp sax and it's called if the world was ending and this is how your person is feeling right now guys go listen to that song not right now while you're in this live make sure you guys are liking this live sharing this live thank you so much for joining me here at this moment especially during all this solar eclipse energy, I was like, not really gonna come live, but someone really needed to give you this message. Like literally, I already made my tea. I was ready to watch my Netflix and let my song, you know, just premiere at, at midnight. But I had to go and be obedient by what my spirit is telling me. So I'm letting you know that whoever this person is, they're going crazy over you. Comment below, my person's crazy over me. Like they're literally, are dedicating this song to you. And I'm not going to play it for copyright uh, uh, reasons, but I am going to read you the lyrics, okay? I am going to read you the lyrics, a little bit of it at least, because here in New York City, like two days ago, we had a, we felt a little bit of the earthquake that happened in New Jersey. And then there was another one in Florida. 
and in other parts of the world. So it's like, what's going on, right? I feel like this person has been gathering information and feeling it in intuitively. Like it's time for me to be with my person. I need to let go of this pride, this ego. Check this lyrics out. For those of you that don't know that song, please check it out. But after this reading, yes, the end of days doesn't mean the end of days are here, guys. Like I said, the end, I wrote it the end of days because this person feels like the world is going to end. And if it does, or if it doesn't, I'm still going to come forward. For those of you that just got here, please go back to the beginning of this reading so you can catch up. So it goes, I was distracted and in traffic. I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened An earthquake. See that earthquake keywords. So somebody might have experienced an earthquake in Florida or in your hometown or something like that, or they're watching it on the news. Empathetic Empress 888. Thank you so much for your donations. I definitely have my notebook and pad. Um, my notebook and pad, my pen and pad, and I'm definitely, as always, going to be writing everyone's name who donates and sending you so much love and light um, at this time. So thank you, Empathetic Empress. So like I said, this person is like, I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened, you know, but it got me thinking when you were out drinking, um, when you were in the living room, chilling, watching television. Anyways, the chorus goes, and if the world was ending, you come over, right? You'd come over and you stay the night. Would you love me for um, for the hell of it? And our fears will be irrelevant. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm really getting. Do you you know what I mean? Like I said, that message is very specific. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I am going to be using the oracles, the tarot. I have all the love oracles and tarot right in front of me. So, like I said, this is how somebody's person is really feeling. And I'm also getting eternal love. Like, the reason I was seeing twin flame energy for this is because I feel like there's been a tremendous amount of separation between you and this person and they're just fed up. They're stressed and they're like, I need to reach out because my spirit is telling me to. Um, because there's a little bit of fear in them that is like, well, what if I never told you how I felt? Like that would be insane. You know what I mean? Because I, this is the type of person that actually wants to spend their time, their life with you and their time with you, but they haven't told you. And so they kind of feel like, even if the world was ending, I want to spend it with you. Those last five seconds, that last hour, like I want to be with you. Romeo and Juliet type energy. So let's get to the tea here. But before I use an Oracle deck, I'm being guided to start with a little message from this cute uh, fairy deck here. Let's see who's that. Uh, Semina, thank you so much for your donation, my love. Sending you so much love and light. If anybody likes to donate to the channel so I can purchase more tarot deck and equipment for the, ta uh, for the channel, you may do so through my Cash App, PayPal, YouTube stickers, things like that. And everyone who donates, thank you so much, guys. All right. May the universe multiply that abundance to you a thousand million times more. So I'm hearing that this person um, is asking for guidance about you. They're asking their friends or someone close to them that they trust. They're asking them, like, should I come forward? Should I make this move? But yeah, we have the peacock. OK, so a peacock, my love, could be very significant for someone watching me right now. Maybe you have a peacock tattoo. Maybe you love peacocks. Uh, we have one four four likes. Shout out to my chosen ones watching me right now. Sure. Sure. Queenia. Sherquinia, thank you so much for your donation. I hope I said your name right. If I do mispronounce your name, I do apologize, okay? It's like when you're live, like your eyes just get a little foggy sometimes. And I'm just like, I can't, I, I'm channeling. Like this is, you know, VIPs. Thank you so much for your donation. So let me know if peacocks mean something to you besides obviously royalty. Like this person sees you as a true divine feminine. Comment below, I am the divine feminine. I embody the divine feminine. This person has seen that you're somebody like, you stand out. Comment below, I stand out. Oh my God, I love this energy. First of all, I haven't even read what's on the bottom because this image enough is telling me so much about you. Like suddenly I feel like if I was to meet you in person, whoever I'm channeling right now, if I was to meet you in person, I don't know why I feel this energy of like, um, I could be able to just read you like a book just by looking at you. Not that you're easy to read. You're quite mysterious, quite intimidating for sure. Peacocks are intimidating, right guys? Especially a lot amongst other creatures. Once they open up and they share their light and they spread their wings, literally like their feathers, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's a, an awe moment for someone like, wow, I, you know, you leave people astonished. It's what I'm feeling here. 
So, yeah. It says, you have the ability to prosper. This person is seeing you work on your money. Comment below, I am abundant, okay? Yeah, because like it's like anything you touch. You got that Maji touch, okay? Yeah, you got that Maji touch. Anything you touch like grows. It's like your beauty. This person is like amazed at how attractive you are, how beautiful you are, how handsome you are to my fellas. What up, Aurelio? Thank you so much. Aurelio for joining and Brian, Anna, Ricky. Thank you so much, guys. I'm seeing some similar names here. I love when you guys come and support because um, this is a family. So it's like who's showing up to today's dinner? Who's showing up for today's tea time? Let me know in the comments below if you're a returning subscriber or if you're new here. Okay, but this person has seen that you have like defeated demons, like you step on your enemies or something and they put you on a pedestal. First of all, just look how beautiful this card is. You're so attractive or the way that you dress your sensuality. Yes, definitely. You stand out. And so the you're very bright. Yeah, it's like you walk in a room and yeah, look at the champagne, though. You have a very exciting energy. I'm hearing extravagant. Even if you don't feel this, this is how your person views you. It's what I'm being guided to tell you. Sorry about shaking that. So yeah, let's see. You see how you saw my camera just like did a little shaking. There's something about earthquake energy here, guys. Someone's foundation is being shaken up, but I'm also getting like that earthquake energy. Whatever natural disasters are going on around the world, it's making this person feel like maybe the end of days are near and I need to be with my person. And you do have that bubbly energy. Exactly. Somebody said bubbly. Right. And it says, celebrate the little things in your everyday life. That's the kind of lifeful energy that you have. It's very light. And people just feel like, um, especially this person, they feel like it's very exciting. You're very exciting. You're very fun. And um, you just have a very positive energy about you. I'm also seeing a baby bottle here. So this person may try to impregnate you. Listen to your messages in your dreams. Yeah, this came out in yesterday's reading. So if you haven't catched up on yesterday's reading, I'm being guided to tell you that you must. Because in there, I was saying that your ancestors are saying, pay attention to your dreams. Okay, so check out my most recent video. Now, let, let's get into uh, some of these cards here. Where do we start, spirit? I'm hearing tarot. So let's get some tarot. Thank you, Aurelio, for your donation, my love. Let me sip some tea real quick for the throat chakra. So yeah, make sure at midnight you go and check out my new single. For those of you that are new, I have several other songs released like a couple years ago if you want to check those out too. Oh, and it's not, I haven't uploaded it. This is just like spontaneous release by the way because like I was following my Holy Spirit I have not released it yet on like any other platform than YouTube. So it's just going to be tonight released on YouTube. Tomorrow it's going to be like Apple Music and such and such. Okay. So anyways. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to like gift you something, spoil you. I'm hearing I'm ready to spoil you because they feel like, yeah, you might be like um, intimidating to this person in the sense that you might feel out of their league. Comment below. Um, I am beautiful. Yeah. I'm hearing like. You know, don't forget you're beautiful. Like you're so beautiful. And so this person feels like you're heaven sent. I'm hearing heaven sent. I'm also hearing like that Keisha Cole song. Sent from heaven. Yeah, like comment below. I have been sent from heaven. If you feel this is you. Thank you, Isis, for your donation. Yeah, they feel like you're sent from heaven. They want to offer you something, a proposal or something. Uh, I'm hearing luxurious, a new opportunity too. Let's see what this is. I'm seeing a lot of green energy. This is the heart chakra, but I'm also, it could be your favorite color, but I do see a lot of green, especially with the peacock energy, right? The hierophant, Taurus energy. This person could be, what? This person could be proposing to you for somebody here. Like they want commitment. Comment below, my person wants to offer me commitment. Like this twin flame shit, yeah, they're got. They want to marry you or something. Yeah, I'm hearing Bruno Mars. I think I want to marry you. Just say I do. Yeah, celebration. Guys, there's a there's a reason the champagne bottle's here. There's a reason the, shame, the champagne bottle's here. You're about to celebrate something. Comment below. I'm about to celebrate something. If you feel it. Did you feel it? Did you get those goosebumps? Yeah. This person is coming in fast. Give me one second. I'm about to get this deck. Oh, no, I have it right here. Thank God. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to be using this deck to um, let you know when your person is going to reach out. Is it in a couple days? Is it a couple weeks? Is it a month from now? 
Is it today? Is it tonight? Is it tomorrow? I just shuffled it. I'm going to be using it in a little bit because I see with this Knight of uh, Swords, swiftly, fast energy. This is like, I have to come for her. I have to come for him. Like, you know, I have to go towards my person. There's a sense of determination. They know it's you. They're not thinking it. They're not doubting it. They know it's you. Comment below. My person know it's me. I'm the one. Okay, yes. And they actually, they've been dreaming about you. And also like stargazing, looking at the stars and the moon and thinking about you. Look, eight of pentacles. This, this person is like, you could work with this person. This could be somebody at work. I'm also hearing they've done self-work on themselves or they were like focused on their money. Yeah, this person has been working very hard. Very hard to offer you whatever this abundant deal or offer is or proposal for someone like i'm hearing this is an expensive gift all right yeah look we have capricorn energy this person is obsessed with you yeah i'm hearing i can't get you out of my mind they're obsessed with you they have a lot of like sexual fantasies with you, you your person could be a capricorn taurus or libra so far as the energies i'm seeing here yeah <clears throat> i'm hearing like it's not just sex. I want to offer you commitment. Like, I want to offer you something here. Yes, this person might literally reach out unexpectedly. Virgo energy on the bottom of the deck. They've been in isolation. They have their head down, just working. I'm seeing somebody just working on their money. Thank you so much, Phenomenal Woman, for your donation. And Holly Kimber. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love this reading. I love this energy so far. Whoever you are, this is a dope ass. This is some dope ass energy because there's just excitement. Like, I don't know. I feel like. I feel like this is very soon. And I'm also getting like there's something about magic because I'm being drawn to this star and I'm hearing witchcraft or magic. But we'll see. Right. Because I'm hearing it clairvoyantly, clairaudiently. But we'll see what the cards have to say. OK, because like I said, just take the parts that resonate for you. And only you and let anything else go you don't have to take that with you yeah leo energy the sun you're this person's happiness so they just they just want to be happy maybe in the past they were holding themselves back but i'm just like seeing this person want to genuinely be happy adventure they might take you out on a trip or offer you to go hiking or something like that yeah i feel like i feel like they feel a lot of passion sagittarius energy right they're my travelers i feel like this person maybe could have been traveling a lot yeah no i'm here okay this is what i'm hearing because i'm all over the place sorry this card randomly fell on the ace of pentacles and it says adventure so this person is looking for you but i'm getting that they're going to offer you uh to travel with them somewhere like they want to take you somewhere i don't know if it's on an airplane for some of you overseas but um thank you so much nancy you love my style thank you hello from atlanta what's up misty what up <laughs> But seriously, though, this is the number zero. This is the um, the full energy. So they want to start over. They they feel like with you, you're very fun. Like you're very down to earth. Comment below. I'm down to earth if that's you. And so they want to explore, take you out to explore the world. And look, for some of you, it's within a few months. Shout out to my Pisces watching because look, it says out of the blue. So this person will maybe when they propose, because I'm just seeing not everybody's going to get an engagement or a proposal. But um, for that person that is, I feel like obviously it's going to be out of the blue because it's like, what? What is this about? You know, I feel you kind of feeling that way. And with this sun card here, you're this person's joy and happiness. Shout out to my person. Shout out to whoever is called joy. Thank you, Sherry's, for your donation, my love. She says, I'm sending a gift package as I thank you, bless you. I can't wait for the opportunity to tell you what's going on. Autumn Rose York Paw. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sending you love and light. See this person, see this raw energy? I'm getting ancient Egypt raw energy. You might have had a past life with this person in Egypt. I'm picking that up. Like this is somebody that believes in like angst, the eye of Horus, the ank, Isis. This is that energy. And so this divine masculine also is in their energy. They're in their element because the Leo is masculine energy. But I'm also getting that you make this person want to follow their passion, want to 
travel more and explore the world and explore you because they're you make them tap into their inner child there's definitely something about them coming towards you or you guys going on a trip i could tell you that much yeah we have cancerian energy in the house the chariot you might go on a road trip for some of you you might go on a road trip with this person I'm seeing that they've been working very hard to purchase like a motorcycle or a car. I don't know if it's a new car or their first car, but I'm definitely seeing this person has matured. Comment below, my person has matured if you feel that in your energy. Yeah, so they're coming forward. They're coming towards you. Then we have Sagittarius energy, double confirmation to my Sagittarius temperance right they want to bring balance to this connection i'm also hearing that there's an angel that is protecting this twin flame connection from these lower frequencies that could have been blocking this blessing because i'm hearing this person has been trying to do this but then they fall for a temptation or an illusion or some kind of trickery but i'm hearing they're kind of facing this like the good voice and the bad voice in their head as well. But I'm hearing good will always win. Comment below, good will always win. Love will always win. That's what I'm hearing. Love will always win too. But either way, this, this connection is protected. So let's see when will they reach out and then we'll tap into some love messages to see what exactly does this person want to tell you? What have they been hiding? What is going on? So in January, we're already past January, but maybe they tried to contact you in January or your birthday is in January. Okay, there we go. Some of you guys, it's literally, this person's gonna hit you up in the morning while you're eating breakfast or they're gonna take you out for breakfast in a few days. Comment below, my person is contacting me in a few days if you really feel this is your energy. This literally could be this month of April or whenever you're watching this, okay? Yeah, it's just in a few days. It could be literally early in the morning. I'm hearing breakfast. See how we get eggs here? breakfast so this this person is going to break that fast of not reaching out of no communication they're breaking that and they're about to reach out that's what i'm hearing okay they're breaking the fast of no communication that's dope i never heard that before okay then the second card says very soon guys y'all already know maji got the tea can somebody comment below maji got the tea though because i really felt that swift energy of I have to get to her. I have to get to him. There's this sense of urgency, right? It's in divine timing, but the time is now. And it's very soon. Spirit says it's this week, period. So like I said, this message is not about somebody reaching out next month. This is about now. This is happening now. Comment below. My person is reaching reaching out now. It's in a, in a week. This week, few days. It could be today. It could be tomorrow and or a whole seven days. But this is happening soon, like I'm feeling, right? So let's see what your divine masculine or divine feminine wants to tell you. Depending on the watcher and the energy, right? By the way, guys, there's a lot of sexual energy coming through. All right, so the first card here says, I'm terribly sorry for treating you disrespectfully. I hope you can forgive me. So they're going to want to apologize. That's the page of cups too. A sense of apology, a small gesture, right? Making you a small offer of some sort to like mend things, right? I love it when you laugh. This person loves your laugh, first of all. I want to be the man or the woman who makes you laugh. It makes me proud and gives me reassurance that I can make you feel good and enjoy my presence. This person loves to make you laugh and they love to watch you laugh. So I'm hearing they've been missing your laugh or your voice. You bring out the romantic in me. There goes that energy. Yeah, thank you, Aaron, for your donation. There goes that energy again of like wanting to be romantic this time, wanting to give you an offer, wanting to do a small gesture. I want to buy you flowers, sweets, and jewelry. There you go. That's the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be some, like like I said, some, you know, expensive jewelry. doesn't have to. It could be something simple like flowers, sweets, chocolates, right? Comment below. My person is ready to spoil me if you're feeling that energy. Definitely. Like, they feel like you deserve it. This is definitely no money, uh, gold digger energy. Okay, no. 
But I feel like this person maybe has been looking up jokes or wanting to be a better comedian if they're into comedy or something because they just want to make you laugh. You know, they want... They want to be the person that makes you laugh the most. And I'm hearing they want to build a home with you. Four of Wands. You're seeing 11-11 because you see it right there. 11-11. Yeah, this is, this is yours. I'm hearing this is yours. This person is yours. Okay, then I'm also seeing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. Will I ever see you again? That's their worry. Like I said, like I will I ever see you again? Like I feel like I need to see you. Hearing your voice, there we go again. I did tell you your person likes your voice, right? So hearing your voice for the very first time triggered an unexpected stirring in my heart. You sounded familiar to me like I've known you for centuries and this deep soul knowledge was activated by your voice. Comment below, my voice has activated my person because it has. Your voice when they met, it wasn't just your eyes. It's also your voice, which reminds me of the Bible. When God said, let there be light. <clears throat> Look at my throat trying to close up. When God said, let there be light. Was there not light? There was light, right? Not trying to get biblical on anybody, right? So I feel like when this person heard your voice for that first time, they felt like I've known you for centuries. There's that past life in Egypt that I, I was picking up. Very specific for somebody. And... Let me let you know that the song that is up that I'm about to release at midnight called Deep Emotions is dedicated to you. I'm being told right now that song is dedicated to you. How do I know that? Because it's called Deep Emotions. These emotions run deep. These emotions come from past lives. There is an instant recognition Yet this silence of, I don't understand it, so I'm either going to run away or, or just ignore it, right? So again, this said deep soul knowledge, and I just heard deep emotions, which is the song I'm about to release. So no, I'm not going to sing it. Sorry, guys. It's just a surprise. Go listen to it. But your voice has activated their memory. Comment below. My voice has activated their memory of the past life they had with you. Like, this is dope. This is dope. So let's see what else going on here. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that I'm going to be using a little bit of like some sexual tarot here because I am seeing some of that energy, but not in, not right now. Let's continue with some other. <clears throat> I'll use my very own Oracle deck here. If you're enjoying this reading, Maji Gang, please like this video, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. I'm going to use this Oracle deck to see what names come up too. Okay, so red flags. There's some red flags here. Let's see what's going on. I don't feel good enough for you. So I feel like this person feels like, like you're the red flag maybe. Like your beauty is a red flag. I don't know. I never heard that before, but it makes sense. They feel like intimidated, like I said, with this beautiful peacock goddess. Yeah, I'm feeling you're a goddess. Comment below. I am a goddess. Okay, like this person... My divine feminine watching, this person views you as a goddess. And so they don't feel good enough for you. There goes that energy again, as I was explaining of, you're above my league, right? You're out of my league. You're one in a million. Exactly. Y'all already know my, you got the tea though. Yeah, I got the magic touch. You're feeling what we're making love. So you're one in a million. Affirm it. Or who are you? Let, let, let the universe know in the comments below. I am one in a million, period. Like, there's nobody like me, period. I'm one in a million, period. This person know it, you know it, love it. They love your confidence, too. Thank you, spirit. The, the peacock speaks about confidence, too. Standing out, you stand out. They know it. It's undeniable. And they love that. They love that you stand out. This person is not trying to dim your light at all. This is not that. In fact, they feel like, you know what? You're, you're such a better person than I am. You deserve better. I'm probably not good enough. Maybe even financially they feel this. There's a little bit of insecurity because like I said, I'm also hearing like you look like millions. Like even if you're broke, even if you don't have that much money, it doesn't matter what you wear. When you walk outside, when people see you, they're like, wow, that person is rich. You look like money. Comment below, I look like money. Like you look like you got money and stuff. So I, I do see this these eyes like this person obviously has fallen in love with you and with you being one in a million is like 
do I have what it takes to keep you? That's what they're wondering. And that's what has held them back. Like, do I have what, is, what it does to keep you? And of course you feel like, yes, like it's not about the money. I don't care about that. I just want you. Cause I do see mutual feelings. You're obviously feeling this person. I love you more than anyone I've ever loved before. Hashtag twin flame. Check it out. And somebody comment below my, you got the tea. Like I need to see that in the comments right now before I'm going to pull out another card. Maji got the tea though. Look at right there. Twin flames. Look, they never, cause like I said, they never met anybody like you comment below. They never met anybody like me. You're irreplaceable. Just like I put in my thumbnail. I kept hearing that song irreplaceable, irreplaceable. And that word you're the one. So I keep seeing one, one, one and 11, 11. I love you more than anyone I've ever loved. That's how they feel about you guys. They literally were like, you're not going to enjoy Netflix. You're not going to chill. You're going to go live and give my person this message. So there's like this stubborn energy with that Leo energy, this pride and, and, and stubborn energy, like, and determination too. like, go and tell them that because I'm coming. Okay. Comment below. My person's coming. I'm telling you, they're coming. Yeah. This person, like, yeah, look, we keep seeing a lot of air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It keeps coming over and over for somebody. Oh, what I told you. I want to have a baby with you. I told you this person wants to impregnate you, so <laughs> use protection if you're trying to avoid that. This person wants to have a baby by you. I'm hearing, have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire, be a millionaire, be a millionaire. So I don't know. Is your person rich or are you a millionaire? Or like, are you somebody that's going to make millions in the future and your person knows that? Because I keep seeing this word million, millionaire, or maybe you have a million subscribers. I don't know. But you know, on the other end, they're watching me. You know who you are. So to me, you are perfect. You had me at Hello. Like I said, the moment they heard you and you said, hi, hello, you know what I mean? Once they heard your voice, that was the time. It goes back to your voice. Your voice has activated their love that they have for you, their memories. This is crazy. Like, I didn't even know that was possible, but it is possible because this is what the reading is saying about you. So now I do believe that that's another initiations for Twin Flames, okay, in the journey. You had me at hello. You are perfect. This is how they saw you. This is how they still see you. Our meeting was destiny. There you go, guys. This is how they're feeling. Look, somebody has deeper feelings than they're letting you know. What am I saying? My song is called Deep Emotions. They have deeper emotions. How many times I got to tell you that? And it, you guys already heard I Think I Love You, and that shit resonated. So you know my you got the tea, but I also got the songs, though. Right? Somebody has deeper feelings for you than they're letting you know. Meeting you, they know it was destiny. They're seeing you as their twin flame. They're seeing you as their soulmate, right? I miss making love to you. I told you there's that sexual energy coming through. That's why I'm going to be using Cupid's Desires Oracle deck. Look at that. I miss making love to you. Ooh, I'll make love to you. Okay, has my life ever been this? My life has never been the same since I met you, like I said. You triggered something in them. You activated something in them. And it's had them in an awakening. They didn't even know what's happening. I'm getting, they were, as they were going through a spiritual awakening, they had no idea that they had just met their twin flame and that it would change their life forever because it happened gradually. I'm scared to tell you the truth. Fire signs, Leo, Aries, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's get to the naughty thing because... We're not going to be here forever. I miss making love to you. Okay. So. Let's see. All right. We have ecstasy. So you're this person's ecstasy. When they made love to you, you made them feel ecstasy. Love to run my fingers softly while you sigh. Yeah. So there you go. You make them feel ecstasy comment below my person is craving me yeah i'm getting a lot of sexual energy now multiple orgasms like either you give this person multiple orgasms or they want to give you multiple orgasms yeah this person like either likes it when you dominate them or when you let them dominate you 
clarity. There you go. It's like, it's like they knew that they were meant to be with you the moment they saw you, the moment you said hello or whatever. Um, cause I'm getting like the way that you guys met was a very funny story. Like this is something you're going to be like, Oh, it's a very funny story. How we met. You're not going to believe how we met. So I was like walking this, this, that I had just left my flight, like some story like that. And I feel like this person knew it the moment they saw you that it was always you. They were just being hard headed and egotistical. But I'm hearing that they're watching you online. They're checking you out. They're seeing your new upload pictures. They're checking out your beauty. Okay, they're checking out your glow up. Somebody here has gone through a glow up. Whatever you're posting, because I'm seeing posts. You could be a model here. I don't know. But this person is like, I can't take my eyes off you. Comment below. <laughs> my person can't take their eyes off me. Get le siste. They just can't stop staring, remembering. Yeah, like they remember the way that they made you laugh they remember the way that you kissed them the way that you touched them like they remember the way that you guys would talk for hours i'm hearing you guys would talk for hours and they miss you that's why they're coming back comment below my person's coming back yeah all that long distance is literally like just tearing them apart twin flame spirit is giving you the confirmation my love and there goes that irreplaceable energy again see says irreplaceable i tried to replace you but it didn't work i still want you see i'm telling you you're somebody you need to like i feel like this this right here should also give you confidence it should give you a lot of confidence like you really are somebody that is irreplaceable it's not just to this person spirit is making me stop real quick to tell you like you're irreplaceable to a lot of people people see you that way like when they when they meet you they can't forget you they can't, they won't forget your name. They won't forget a face like yours. That's what I'm really picking up right now. So you're irreplaceable. You better walk with your head high knowing that. And I do feel like you do know because the peacock is like, okay. People tend to think that you're maybe too confident, but you're not. You're the right amount of confident. Horny. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this person is like very turned on by you and you make them feel that. Twin flame. Okay, this is definitely your twin flame. How? Because your person knows it. They know it. They, they know that you're the only one that makes them want to change, want to become a better person. You make them want to be better. Yo, what's good, Boogeyman? Thank you so much for joining tonight. Make sure you check out my jam. Okay, I'm releasing my song at midnight. Make sure you guys check that out. It's called Deep Emotions. But yeah. Let's see what's, what's going on here. With the Love Oracle. And if the world was ending, you'd come over right. You'd come over right. Oh my goodness, if I could get these cards out of here. All right. Look, we got soulmate right there. See? They're viewing you as their soulmate. Okay, so we have this card here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. That could be you healing your heart chakra because you might be like, I'm not ready for love. I'm not interested through, because of something that happened in the past in your love lives. And I just feel like you just need to transmute those negative thoughts. 10, 10, guys. We got 10, 10 people in here. That's another number I posted on my community post that's showing up very often. Look at the heart. Look at that heart. Somebody's name here is Mary. Look at that heart right there. There's a heart chakra awakening. There's a transformation, a transmutation as well. It says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. There it goes again. Deepen, deep emotions, okay? Love conquers and transforms all things. Fact, somebody comment below, love conquers all. This love is gonna do some great things. And there's definitely this energy again of balance. Like, you're both going to be very balanced connection. Yeah, they want your forgiveness, my love. They want your forgiveness. And it's just like, can we, can we let go of what happened in the past? I want to reveal something to you. I'm dreaming about you in the night. This is the energy that I'm picking up. Let me see if there's any like zodiac signs or anything specific that wants to be said with this oracle deck. Aquarius, shout out to my Aquarius watching. Like I said, you stand out. You're the innovator. Um, you're very smart. This person feels like 
yeah, just the way even you look, the way that you are, your attitude, you definitely like to help a lot of people. You might like to like switch up your look a lot because I'm getting that energy for you. South node. See, you had a past life with this person. The south node can also speaks about past lives. So I feel like this person feels also like, also somebody's name could be Selena, by the way. Anytime I wear this shirt, I'll let you guys know. Somebody's name could be Selena. But um, also they might gift you a teddy bear. I saw a teddy bear in my third eye or get you a car or you're going to see a new car or something like that. But they had a past life with you and they feel like they're still left unfinished. Like you have unfinished business with this person. So this is why they're coming back. Fifth house. The fifth house speaks about romance. So like I said, this person now is thinking about having children with you. Guys, look at the teddy bear. See, I told you I felt a teddy bear. Y'all already know much you got the tea though. Look at that right there. And look at the roses. I don't know. This person really wants to like buy you something cute. So like you remember them with that like little teddy bear or flowers, roses. It might be both. Whatever it is, it's cute. It's a really cute gesture. Gesture. And um, this person could be in the entertainment industry or you could be in the entertainment industry, but I'm getting fertility. Like this person wants to put a baby in you. They want you to have children with them. They also, like I said, maybe you like to go out and party. Maybe you're a dancer. Um, you not, maybe you enjoy like having fun or partying or something, but this person like wants to take dating serious. They want to go out with you. We also have the snow moon and it says, renewal cleansing soul searching this person has been soul searching dealing with the night okay the darkness of the night and making plans for the future with you but they're going through a transition scorpio shout out to my scorpios okay we got scorpio too this is your reading if you're watching scorpio yeah jealous so Scorpio energy here is telling me that this person is really like obsessed with you. Okay. Like really, they find you quite mysterious and very intense, but I'm also getting like, like I'm also seeing lust. Like this person is always lusting you, but it's more than that. I'm just also seeing jealousy around this connection. When I saw that Scorpio energy, I heard, I heard definitely the mask are falling off. No more wearing masks. Yeah. Somebody here could be like a yoga instructor or maybe you're like a health coach or you've been practicing a new diet. You could have gotten a new pet. Maybe this person is gonna buy you a pet, gift you a puppy or something like that. Maybe you've been working on your fitness because I'm getting this person is seeing how you're becoming more balanced, more attractive even physically. Yeah, you could be like a herbalist. There's a big transformation that you made in your life. You changed some form of habit. Let me know what it was in the comments below. But you've been in this person's dreams. Comment below. I've been in my person's dreams. You really have. Like, nonstop too. Subconsciously, consciously, they're like constantly thinking about you. Yo, happy April 8th. Happy April 8th. Okay, we got the solar eclipse today. And just two minutes ago, my new release came out. Okay, go check that out after this live though. After this live, just make sure you guys check it out. They know this is divine love. Yeah, I'm hearing they're fixed on you. They're stuck on you. Libra. There we go. Shout out to my Libra. Somebody here could be a makeup artist or you're really into like makeup. Or the way you do your makeup, this person admires it. Sherry, thank you so much for your donation, my love. But Libra speaks about that rose quartz energy, love energy. Like this person literally is in love with you. Comment below, my person is in love with me. Like they want to tell you the truth. And they might have bought you a charm or maybe they're going to gift you a new perfume. We also have Capricorn energy in the house. See, they've been working on their money. You also might have been working on their money. Like maybe you make more money than them. And I just feel like that's intimidating to them. The blue moon. Something rare is about to happen. Okay, this person and you might just like meet up randomly. But something rare, something very lucky is about to happen with you and your person. Don't miss this chance, says Spirit. Don't miss this chance yeah all right so i'm gonna end the reading here magic gang so i can allow you some time to go check out my song i'm gonna go ahead and shower okay and do some meditation before bedtime sending you guys so much love and light and congratulations on this beautiful reading because this guy or a girl is about to hit you up like tomorrow today in a couple days less than a week basically and they just 
had me put on to tell you this message okay so yeah i hope that it was helpful gave you some confirmation and confidence love and light okay till next time magic gang bye bye thank you